Yes! <laughs> that was perfect, man. Good morning and welcome to yet another beautiful episode of Parkour Journeys. We're here in Sector 59, the Heath, for one hell of a day. Welcome to Jay's Parkour <laughs> Yeah, that's why I actually sound like that. <laughs> Subscribe for more Star Trek voices. Just warming up in the old Ethiopia. Oh. It's a good place. This is where Kieran grew up. Born and raised. Born and raised. That's why I did parkour for most of my days. All right, enough chat, more parkour. <laughs> So it's all very well and good that we've done it, but now, weirdly enough, the lazy vault, because you have to come out on the wrong foot, we're gonna have to make it look prettier. Now I think we'll call that challenge complete, eh? We've got our one person to be safe out with, and that's Ollie today. That's a sick skateboard, bro. That's a new one. If you are new here, guys, please do consider subscribing. What we do is generally just go around from town to town, learning about uh, different ways to do parkour, taking our own parkour journey, and uh, sort of explain to you along the way what our fears are with different jumps and how we're overcoming them, and what different like problems that we have to solve along the way to get the to get the stuff done that we want to get done. If that's something that uh, you think you would enjoy, please. Go ahead and subscribe. And a big thank you to absolutely everyone who has already subscribed because uh, you will keep the channel running. You know, you keep uh, commenting every week. That's like super appreciated. And uh, yeah, it really doesn't go unnoticed and really do, like I say, appreciate everyone who supports the channel. Uh, nice, that's good. That's really great. I'm gonna try the other foot now. Oh man. It's well hard to push off my right foot confidently. It's not my takeoff leg. It's not my takeoff leg. Yay! Oh, yes. Hey, there we go. Hey, well done. 180 back? Yeah! Oh. I'm well happy to go over that. I know it looks ridiculous and I just bounced off, but you just jump into put one little foot on this thing and you could just balls it. <laughs> it's so good. Nice. Yes, Kieran. That's like a really sketchy thing to do. Okay, <laughs> Oh, it's so cool though. Do you like parkour journeys? Whoa! Until now. God, it's fine. Now, obviously, it's only sketch because you lo it looks like you have to kong this thing and actually make distance without like twisting your ankle on the stair if you don't make it. And there's nothing in my head that, that made me think I was actually going to make that, but it's fine. Nice. Yo! Whoa. You have no idea what I just did, but it was so cool. It was radical. Yeah. Now you suck. Got more paws than a pet store. Master. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> Oi! Fucking save. <laughs> what happened? Oh, you slip on that. <laughs> I slipped on the train. Oh man. <laughs> Cartwheel save. I slipped and that I was, was amazing. Down. How did that feel? <laughs> I was okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm falling. Oh, I got it, it's fine. Right. I did my reverse and I was like, okay. Oh. Nice. You took off like feet on the oh. spot. <laughs> yeah. But you were like, I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair play, brother. Thank you. Nice. Okay, cool. We've got a version with pause. <laughs> Super pleased with that because it's like 
it's 100% a Kieran style move. Like obviously in parkour, there's a lot of the same types of movement, but everyone has their own style and everyone has their own things that they're comfortable with. And everything about that was way more like Kieran's uh, realm. So I'm pretty, pretty happy to have done that. You've got this skinny Kong Pri that we talked about. And then the reverse fault, you have to try not to slip on that like Kieran did. <laughs> Fucking scared the crap out of me for doing my version. And then uh, make it down the stairs and not land on this slippy wet grass because stuff is still pretty wet like you just have to choose the dry spots but yeah happy days man good stuff oh fun little challenge go sprint up the stairs and then take off this incredibly low little it's like not a step up and you gotta aim your little toes but i reckon if you get you know that um when you get like an ankle spring off of the balls of your feet that sends you over here and that's uh that's what we should be able to do for, Oh man! So oh god, so close! Oh man, that was exactly the right amount of power, but I took off my, my fucking arch club. It's getting confident with like sprinting into a rail and trusting that your foot's not just gonna go ka Yes! Oh Pooski, pooski. Yeah, nice bounce. Yes. Ooh. Fuck yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. And my foot placement's on point today. It's always good when you have one of those days where it's just like it's automatic foot placement. Oh, I haven't even taken off my barefoot shoes yet. Yeah, no, no. Being big babies about this, even though it's quite a decent tic tac. It's more droppy than it is uppy. No, nothing's good about this angle, and all the hard stuff that. I should probably just, we should probably just ignore because we're better than that, so we should shut the fuck up. The thing that bugs me is as it drops down. It goes down and down and down. And I don't want to be like ready to, to bounce it, but then like bounce it and then fall straight down into this gap. I don't know if that makes any sense. This is becoming like increasingly scary because of how many times that we're not doing it. And every single time you have to come off and dry your shoes and by then you've forgotten all about how it feels. It's becoming a pain in the ass, really. Something to come back to when it's dry, I think. Just upsetting us really now because it's just being upsetting. I'm not pleased with that. I haven't done a flat top muscle up in ages. And this is quite a hefty diner as well. Plus, also the flat top muscle up. You can't get your chest right over like you normally would. You have to like keep it back up like this. Yeah, I wonder if I can get a better angle. Like... Fucking hell. So the aim of the game is tic tac here. Try and straighten her up so that you can one, two, Kong Pri, and then hit a bear hug grab on this tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. I'm so happy I found out that I can just bear hug a tree trunk. Come on, man, you got this. So Ollie's got to like aim for this part here so they can get in enough steps because he congers off the other foot which if we were any good at parkour we'd train doing the opposite foot but we're not so get wrecked Yo, that's the one! It's weird when stuff like this trips you up because it looks like it should be so simple compared to all the other stuff you do but the second you're trying to put like little bits together in awkward situations you start realizing how much tech you're really lacking 
Yes! Oh, mate! Yeah, there it is. Absolutely breezy. Trying to run along these benches here and then cat leap the tree. Sure if it was a standard running jump would be okay. Like, fine. But it turns out these, um, these benches are super, like, breakable. Like, I stand in the middle of like this one, because they're gonna break. So I have to be super light foot, especially look at this mangled piece of shit. So I, I have to be super light on my feet and then like go for the distance. And the idea as well is to get enough height to grab that top, top one. So I don't know, I'm gonna keep trying. I've had a few preps to the floor. It feels okay, but I just need to be able to trust that bench. Yes. It's kind of like calculating how much force I can put into these these benches without them snapping and like getting, if I can get enough that's gonna launch me up. Because obviously if it was just a normal running like jump up, it'd be easy to make, but I can't put full pressure on any of these, these benches. Oh, okay, that was really close, just a tad more. Spent so much time focusing on the tree that time, I wasn't looking where I was taking off, so I just, the, like the the bit of my foot just went oh. I'm happy that I'm getting to the tree but like the actual reaching up part is really proven difficult oh, oh I can make that I'm so close yeah 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 oh, oh. 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 Oh, I'm gonna have to leave that one because I can't just keep throwing myself at the fucking trunk of a tree all day. It's doing me in. But I'm really happy with the attempts on that because it was still full commitment. It was just trying to suss out how to correctly run on the benches. I'll be back for it. I'm sure I could do it eventually. Just a bit more power, a bit more finesse. I'm getting pretty good. I'm like, well, I say I'm getting pretty good. I'm trying to get good at walking away from challenges when I can't do them because I'm really stubborn with them and that can be really good like going up to the start of summer and it helped me break through a hell of a load of new mental barriers as you go through summer but then like when you even out and you want to watch for this like when you even out into your plateau come winter time usually you have to like ride a plateau and then break through it in summer at least that's the way it is for me so when you notice yourself starting to do that plateau what you don't want to do is hurl yourself at challenge after challenge that you can't do because you're used to like hitting that progress bar because what happens is you just do a fuck ton of preps that never go anywhere and you wear your body out and you tell your mind i don't go for things and it starts to believe that when you do go for stuff you're just like not going to go for it so you want to watch out for when your skill level is kind of rounding off for a bit of a plateau and then when it does that, learn to walk away from your challenges a bit sooner so that you can like maintain what you can do elsewhere. And then you should be able to ride like a nice high into your next like overcoming the next load of stuff. So uh, yeah, that's just like a, a tip I've learned after like 10 years. We've got a sneak attack mission here because there's a, a Kong Prix that's just too delicious to walk away from. Whereas like uh, on this thin rail, over to here but they've got like their gate open and obviously that's their garden so you don't want to overshoot and it also isn't the sturdiest wall in the world so this is like a get in get off get out jobby not confident but i was just explaining to ollie how i prep for rail <laughs> how i prep for um rail kong freeze if they're scary to me so what i'll do is um run at the rail as if i'm gonna kong and then just take it in my hand and without taking my eyes off the wall, just go straight into the bounce off. And that way it gets your mind used to crossing the gap. And like the, the thing of ta not taking your eyes off the wall, it means that your mind kind of gets to travel through the space. It really helps me at least. Oh. It's a weird step up as well. I know. Like, because I don't know whether to step on it or before. Yeah. I wanted to underdo it because I'm like, really don't want to go into their garden because <laughs> there's there's actually nowhere to go either it's just a bunch of stinging nettles so. you just edging my way forward so i don't fall in the garden <laughs> yeah that's it that's it that's it 
You! So nice. Thanks, man. Lovely stuff. And I still haven't taken my barefoot shoes off today. I'm well proud of that. Yeah. Everything's been like that extra bit of mind game because, I mean, these are painful at the Arch Club. Yeah. Go on, mate. Yes, Ollie. Right. Okay. Yeah, there he is. Fucking brilliant. I think we'll call that the end of the day, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't subscribed already, please do if you enjoyed it, obviously. And uh, leave us a comment. We love to read everybody's comments and reply and find out what you thought of the video. So that's always really appreciated. Plus it helps out the channel grow, growth. And uh, yeah, I guess this is getting dark quite early these days. So we're gonna have to come out a little bit earlier and uh, fight through the cold in the winter. But I promise we'll keep bringing you these videos at 5.30, Tuesday, every week. Did you have a good day, Ollie? Yeah, that was good. Didn't do much, but <laughs> what I did do was fun. There you go, that's all that matters, right? Yeah, right. Time for a stretch down.